Hi there. Uh, this screencast we're going to look at how to scale an image. Uh, so we're using GIMP which is the GNU image manipulation program. It's a free uh, download. Runs off of your uh, desktop or laptop computer. So I'm going to start by uh, opening a uh, image and you notice this one here is over 5 megabytes in size, 4,000 by 3,000 pixels, which is a fair-sized image. So I've got it open. Now we may want to scale an image, which is we want to make it fewer pixels in width and height, and we want to then hopefully also make it a smaller file size. And this is when you're going to be using an image um, in a website or in a learning management system and uh, the image is so large that it's going to be perhaps a little slow to load uh, when students go to access it um, or it's going to you know really impinge on data plans if people are accessing it with their phone or another mobile device um, so it's better to scale the image down to a more reasonable size Another reason to scale an image is that in some systems, like in a learning management system perhaps, where you have, say, forum posts, you may have a, um, uh, a place within there, say a forum post, where uh, it does not automatically scale an image to fit. And so if you upload a huge image, you're going to have that huge image trailing way off to one side with a scroll bar. It's not going to squeeze the image down to fit. Many systems do squeeze down your image to fit. So for example in WordPress when you upload a huge image it offers you several scaled down sizes of that image. But that's not always the case and so scaling an image is an important um, task to be able to complete. It's really pretty straightforward. So I have this image loaded up into GIMP and I'm going to go up to image and I'm going to select scale image and see here again we see what the size of the image is right now and we have this lock here in between the two I can break it but I'm going to leave it on and what this means is I only have to set a size for the width or the height and GIMP will uh, automatically adjust the other one to fit. And so if you think about where you're going to display this image, if you know that the um, the uh, content area, say in uh, a blog post on your WordPress theme is 600 pixels, then that's a good uh, size to uh, scale it to. You can also just sort of play around with this a bit and see what sizes of images work in the platform that you're using. So I'm going to hit scale and see it maintains the aspect ratio. Looks really tiny here, but that's because we were on a, uh, a, a zoomed out um, uh, resolution to begin with. So here we are back looking at the same image. Um, we can go to uh, we can go to a one for one or sorry, 100%. And we go back to something more reasonable like this. So all we need to do now is um, we can save this as a project. So if we wanted to come back later and adjust uh, the scaling one way or another, we'd be able to undo the scale. But if we're fine with it, we're not going to save that information. We just want to export it. Then we'll go to File, Export As. And we'll give it a, f a new file name. And when I scale images, I like to use the width that I've scaled it to in the file name. It just makes it easier, especially if I end up doing three or four tries at this. To get it right, then I know which one it is that I uh, want to use. You'll notice that you also get uh, the opportunity to set a quality settings. Typically, the um, default settings are going to be fine. You can decrease the quality setting to decrease the file size of the image as well. If that's uh, if it's important to get that file size down, that's another thing you can work on there. So now I have a 
much smaller image, 600 by 450 pixels.